Thanks for joining me. Um, this flow we're going to go through is um, we spin around the mat, so we're going to face the back of the mat sometimes and then come back to the front. Um, it's handy if you know your left and right. <laughs> And um, it's quite grounding because there's a, a lot of connection to the ground as we spin through the feet and we face different ways. So using the stability of the earth beneath us to, um, to bring it a sense of that um, focus from the ground up. Um, so yeah, I really like this flow. It's, it's a nice, um, nice way to move. So, um, and I, I recommend it for a kind of, um, yeah, any, any level is good. We're, we're not doing anything too extravagantly difficult here. Um, so yeah, just enjoy yourself. And um, we're going to begin breathing on the back. So when you're ready, I'm just trying to think of you might need blocks. You might, you might need blocks for some of this flow of your hamstrings are tight and you need it for, you need a block for half moon pose. We do half moon pose at some point. Um, other than that I can't think of anything so yeah but have them there if you need them they're always good to have by you anyway um, okay so we're going to begin on the back and you can be any comfortable position on your back you know you can have knees to the sky you could have them out wide if your hips are feeling that today you can have your knees fall against one another or you could just lie in a complete full shavasana dead body pose, up to you. If you feel you want more connection to your energy centers, you can bring one your right hand to your kind of navel space and your left fingertips towards your heart. And then closing your eyes when you're ready and we'll just bring about a sense of connection through breath. So first of all, just Recognize how your body is breathing in this moment before you make any effort towards the breath. Is your breath soft? Is it shallow? Is it deep? Try not to answer with judgment, but just a recognition of how your body is breathing. And then we'll take three deeper breaths together, just to ignite some energy through the nervous system. So when you're ready, on your next exhalation, empty your lungs. And then allow your inhale to fill up through your belly, through your ribs, into your upper back and your chest. And then exhale either through the mouth or the nose, but exhale all the way down to empty. Keep exhaling all that air out of your body. And we'll go again. Inhale deep, belly, ribs, upper back and chest. And then exhale long with the control. Try and release the air nice and slowly and get it all the way down to empty so you feel the body collapse into that breathlessness. And then we'll do one more. Inhale, fill it up nice and deep. Take as much air in as you can. And then this time exhale through the mouth. And just feel your body soften. And then bring or invite yourself into a comfortable rhythm of breathing. So a rhythm of breath you feel you can sustain for your practice. Make it audible so you can tune your mind into it, tune into listening to your breath, so that you're always in that present space of awareness, in the here and now. Lovely, once you feel anchored into that rhythm of breathing, we're just going to take a full body stretch, so lengthen your toes away from you, reach your arms up over the head, 
And then elongate in different directions, squeezing through the muscles, squeeze into your glutes, squeeze into your ribs, squeeze into your arms and reach as long as you can. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, just release. Arms down by the side. Let your body soften for a moment. And just come into that space of feeling sensations, the sensational experience of being in your body. How do you feel in your body in this moment? Okay, lovely. And then when you're ready, we're going to hug both knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And then when you're ready, just hold on to your knees individually and start to make circles with your knees. Just spinning around in one direction. Starting to massage into the lower back and the glutes. And then change direction when you're ready. Lovely. And then have a pause. Land your feet down nice and wide on your mat. Raise your arms up and over your head and then exhale, let your legs fall over to the left. And then roll the right shoulder over, push into that right hand and you'll come into a diagonal seated position with your left knee bent out wide and your right toes tucked behind. And then from here, take an inhale, lift up through your fingertips. Have your arms nice and wide and keep your biceps with your ears and then exhale, take a turn towards your left thigh and try to keep the biceps with the ears and we're going to sweep forward and round in a circle and we're going to do a couple of these circles. So imagine that your arms were being lifted from your waistline so that everything from the waistline is lifting in and up rather than using the tops of the shoulders to keep the arms lifted. Let's do one more circle here. Good, and then rise, feel the center again, gather everything up from the midline. And then as you exhale, cactus your arms and squeeze your shoulder blades together and keep drawing them together as you release the elbows behind you. Land your hands behind you and then turn so your right knee is bent out wide and your left leg goes long at the top of your mat. So you're, I know in a Janu Shashasana shape, but I'm nice and wide in my Janu Shashasana. I like to get more on the inner thighs. And then from here, we're just going to take it through some spinal waves. So... Take an inhale, lift up through the crown of your head. Draw your shoulders back so your chest is open and then exhale, lend the heart forward. Keep the chin lifted to find that length of your spine and then when you start to round, look towards your navel and round it back up. And then we repeat that through breath, exhaling the heart forward and down. And then inhaling, look into the navel, draw the front body to the back body as you round it back up. And then we just repeat this movement. And once you're used to it, just start repeating it with the rhythm of your breath. So you don't have to be in time with me. You're just following that inhale to rise you. And the exhale to soften you down. Lovely. And then inhale, rise all the way up. Come through centre, bring your right foot to the ground and lengthen your left leg straight forward. And then we're coming into a twist. Hug your right knee with your left elbow. Bring your right hand behind the base of your spine. Just grow tall through the crown of your head as you inhale. As you exhale, plug your right sit bone into the ground. We're going to do that again. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, plug the right sit bone down. Draw the right shoulder blade into the back of the heart. Lovely. And then slowly release. And we're going to activate through the core. So step your right foot further forward. Raise your left leg to meet, reach your fingertips forward, pull the belly in and slowly round, squeeze the knees together and we're going to round the spine all the way down towards the ground for three. Pull everything in nice and strong, left leg strong, two and landing on one. And then once you land, we'll take another full body stretch. Inhale the arms over the head, you can interlace the fingers and press the palms away from you. Have a wriggle through your hips, through your spine, but keep lengthening in opposite directions. And then take a deep breath in through your nose. And a cleansing breath out through the mouth and relax into a comfortable shape. And just notice, just from some simple breath connection and movement, how your connection to your body feels now. Again, don't judge it, just try to remain in the present space of witnessing 
and allowing things to be as they are. Okay, when you're ready again, we're going to inhale, bring the knees in. We'll have a couple of circles, holding onto the knees, massaging into the lower back. Maybe moving one knee in one direction, the other in the other direction. But if that confuses you, <laughs> just do whatever feels good. Um, okay. And then when you're ready, land your feet down as kind of as wide as your mat. And then arms over the head. Let the knees fall over to the right this time. And then continue to roll with your left shoulder over to the right side. And then push and lift into your diagonal seat. So now you can see it from behind. My left toes tuck behind, my right knee is wide. I'm going to inhale, lift up the arms, gather in through the core. So everything cinching in through your waistline to lift your arms. Fingertips are alive. Take an inhale breath. And as you exhale, draw the navel in towards your spine. Spin towards the right thigh. And then make those circles. And don't worry about how low you're going with the circles, but rather just keep an engagement happening through the midline. Let's do one more. And then find your center and again, lift up, but lift up as if your pelvic floor was lifting you and then your navel was supporting you. And then everything was growing from the root system, from the base connection to the earth beneath you. Take a breath in through your nose, and then as you exhale, cactus your elbows, start drawing your shoulder blades together. So imagine you wanted your elbows to connect behind your back. And then keep squeezing, 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 feeling the heart opening here. And then when you're ready, lean into your fingertips. And we're going to turn to the top of the mat, and we're going to bend the left knee out wide and straighten through the right leg. And again, you can have a comfortable position through the legs so they can be nice and wide they don't have to be in that square Janu Shashatana angle okay take an inhale lift up grow cool through the crown of your head and then exhale send the heart forward with the chin lifted finding space let your sit bones lift with you gaze towards your navel and round it back up pull the navel in towards the spine and then repeat through breath opening the heart letting the heart lead you forward and down inhaling rounding letting the back of the heart lift you up this time Good, let's do a couple more with breath, exhaling, lowering forward and down. And just gently easing into these openings through the legs, through the hips, through the spine. <sighs> Lovely. And this time as you round back up to centre, you're going to bring that left knee into the centre, lengthen the right leg further forward. Make sure the right leg stays engaged, give yourself a hug with your right elbow. And then hug that knee nice and deep, so let that support the spine, and then scaffold your spine with the left hand behind. Have it nice and close to the base. Take an inhale, grow taller, reach the crown of the head nice and high, and then exhale, just hug your knee, but ground your left sit bone down. Good, let's twist from the navel. Inhale, lift up through the crown of your head, and then exhale, draw your navel in gently, and just ring out through your abdominal wall. Lovely, one more breath. Relax the face, bring it back to center. Step your left foot slightly further forward. If this is too challenging for you to do it like this, you can have both feet on the ground. But if you're going for it, straighten your right leg, glue your knees together so you're squeezing your inner thighs together. Reach your fingertips forward, take an inhale breath. And then exhale, round your spine. So keep reaching forward. This will help you lower nice and slowly. Squeeze the inner thighs and keep pulling the navel down. For three. Right leg strong for two. And landing on one. And then from here, bring the soles of your feet together and your knees out wide, your arms out wide. Take up some space for a moment and just allow yourself to sink. Just feeling how the body eases into that support network of the ground beneath it. And where perhaps is still holding on, where perhaps is kind of resisting letting go. And sometimes these areas that resist the softening or the letting go, they're kind of the places that will protect us or store and hold our stress. 
And so we just have to give them a bit more permission to release and surrender. You might like to take a cleansing breath in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Okay, and then when you're ready, you're going to bring your knees in towards your chest, give yourself a squeeze again. Lovely. And then hold on to your knees individually. Make circles through your knees, either in the same direction or opposite direction like I'm doing. Let's get the hips moving. And then change direction when you're ready. So we're going to do the same thing. Yeah, the same warm up, and then we're going to add on another part of our sequence. So, when you're ready, land your feet down nice and wide on your mat. Inhale the arms over the head. Exhale, we're taking the knees over to the left. We continue to roll with the right shoulder, push into the right hand, find the diagonal pigeon seat. Inhale, lift up through the arms. Gather in through your waistline. So, pull your navel in and up, pull your floating ribs in. Exhale, turn towards your left thigh. Keep reaching fingertips forward. Sweep it all the way around as far as you can in a kind of circular motion. And we'll do another two of these. So every time I'm lifting, I'm lifting from the ground. I'm lifting the pelvic floor, I'm lifting the ribs, I'm lifting the navel to support the arms. Exhale, take the cactus of the arms, squeezing shoulder blades together behind you. And then we're going to land. I'm going to turn towards the top of the mat. The right leg goes, the right knee goes out wide and the left leg goes long. Good. And then we'll take three spinal waves again. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, heart leads you forward and down. Now, if this is, just keep moving for me. If this is an intense, uh, intense opening through the back of the left leg, then you can... Keep pressing the left heel down so that it's active and strong and that way you'll protect the opening through the back of the hamstring, the back of the knee. Good, okay, when you're ready we're going to bring it into the twist so the right knee comes into the centre, the left leg is lengthening forward. I'm going to hug with the left elbow and bring the right hand to the base of the spine to support and then again just finding length through the spine before you take it deeper into the twist. So the inhale always grows you and then the exhale always rings you out. You may be able to access a little deeper into the twist on this second round. Lovely. And then from here we're going to stay looking towards the back of the mat. Slide the right hand towards the back of the mat and then push into the right foot and spin through the right toes and land left foot and left hand down. So you're in a downward facing dog at the back of the mat. And then just lubricate your dog, pedal it out, wiggle it out, shake it out. Have a feel into this rather familiar shape. Okay, for the first round we're going to take spinal waves and the knees down. So inhale, lift up through your heels, round all the way forward. Exhale, land your knees down. As the knees land, lift up through your tailbone, find your cow shape, lift up through your chin. Keep your hips spread wide and the spine bending as you slide the hips all the way back towards the heels. On your inhale, look towards your navel and press the back of your heart up towards the sky, root down through the palms of your hands. Exhale, change that, lift your tailbone, let your spine bend and melt your heart all the way back towards your thighs. Good, let's do it again. Inhale, round all the way forward. Exhale to slink it all the way back. Good. Inhale, round all the way forward. This time, pause with your shoulders over your wrists. Lift up through your cow shape. We're going to tuck the toes. Start to press the knees off the ground, but press the belly towards the side so you keep this super low. And then keep pushing your hands forward and then slowly lift up through the hips. Stay high up on your tiptoes and start to find a bounce through your knees. If you have dodgy knees, you can admit this or make the bounce smaller. But stay high on your tiptoes so you're really pressing into your big toe and through the ball of your foot. 
Good. Okay. We're going to keep the balance happening and float the left toes. So the right knee is bouncing in and out. Next time the right knee is bent, pause there. Press from the right big toe and spring that left foot forward in between the hands. Okay, sink the back knee down. Inhale, the arms lift up. Low lunge. Exhale, heart leans forward. Hips are moving back into a half split. Lower the heart down. Good, we're going to do that again. Inhale, come forward. Left foot plants. High lunge, fingertips to the sky. I keep my back toes um, tucked for stability. Exhale, take it back. So hips move forward, heart Hips move back, heart moves forward, and then I'm bowing over that left leg. You can use the hands on the ground if you need it. Let's do one more. Inhale, arms up. Low lunge. Exhale, heart forward, hips back. And I like to reach the fingertips back as well. Good. Inhale, half, and come into your half. What is it? Lunge? Low lunge, not half lunge. And then sweetly pick up the back knee. Once you picked up the back knee, find a spring through the legs. Beautiful. Lean your heart forward. If you want support, bring the fingertips to the ground. If you want the challenge, keep the fingertips lifted or bring them to the heart space. Shift all of the weight forward into the left foot and find an L shape through your legs. So you're in a warrior three. Or you can have fingertips on the ground. Up to you. Take a moment just to breathe in your balance. And then sweetly, you can bring the fingertips down here for support. We're going to hike up through the right hip and land right foot down next to the left. Have a comfortable distance between your feet and when you land, take an inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, melt the heart down. We're going to do that again with a cleansing breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, out through the mouth. Good, shake it out through your head. And then I'm going to heel toe my feet nice and wide. I'm going to bend the knees deeply. And from here, I'm going to turn towards the left. So I'm going to turn my toes and walk my hands all the way around. And I keep turning until my shin bones cross. When the shin bones cross, then I'm going to land the hips down in a seat. Once I've landed the hips down in the seat, I'm stepping the feet forward and bringing the hands next to the hips. We're going to lift into a tabletop. So inhale, lift the pelvis, drive the heels forward and tuck your pubic bone up towards the sky. If you feel this in your quads, step your feet further forward and drive from the hamstring instead. Draw your shoulder blades together and lift up through your chest. Keep squeezing your glutes and drive your pubic bone higher. Take another breath there. As you exhale, sit the hips down towards the heels. Good. And then once your hips land, lift up through your chest. You can lift the heel of your hand off the ground, but just feel that opening through the palms of the hands and maybe into the forearms. Lovely. Step the feet forward. Again, you can keep the feet on the ground like this, or you can lengthen your left leg long, go for a bit more of a challenge, reach your fingertips forward, take an inhale, exhale, round it all the way down for three, for two, and one. When she land on your spine, bring your knees back in. We'll go straight to the other side. Have a few circles on your lower back. Maybe a few circles through the hips. But staying in that connection to your breath. If at any point you feel you need a cleansing breath, just to release some tension or reset, then please take it. Okay, when you're ready, land your feet down, inhale the arms over the head, exhale, drop the knees to the right, continue to roll left shoulder to the right side, push into the earth and find your diagonal seat. Make sure those left toes are tucked behind you and if you need to, you can sit the hips up on a block. We're going to inhale, lift up through the arms, lift up through the navel, exhale, turn towards the right thigh and we'll take three circles in this direction. Sorry, Baba. And then exhale down and round. Lovely. When you're ready, find your center. Lift everything up through the pelvic floor, through the ribs, through the navel. Feel like you're lifting the earth energy up through your central, central channel. And then exhale, 
cleanse all the way down the spine, squeezing the shoulder blades together, drawing the elbows towards one another. Feel that engagement through the back body and then land your hands. As you land your hands, your left knee is going to go out wide and your right leg is long. Good. Three spinal waves from here with breath. Inhale, lift up. Let your heart lead you forward as you exhale. And then really round. Tuck the chin in, gaze to the navel as you lift back up. Good. Find that openness. Shoulders back, heart forward. Lovely. And last one. Okay, beautiful. Bring the left knee in towards you, place the foot to the ground, straighten the right leg forward, keep that right leg active, hug with the right elbow around the knee. Left hand to support the spine, and then finding the breath to go deeper into the twist. Inhale to lift, exhale, draw the navel in, draw the left shoulder back, take the gaze round. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, ring it out. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, ring it out. Lovely. Keep gazing towards the back of the mat. Slide that left hand towards the back of the mat. You can step the left foot further forward. We're going to push up through the hips, spin over with the right hand and the right toes, and we're in a down facing dog at the back of the mat. Okay, but again, you can lubricate it out. And option is to do what we did before, which was land the knees down through these spinal waves. If you don't feel you need to land the knees down, you'll be with me, and we'll do it from the down dog position. Okay, when you're ready, inhale, lift your heels, look to your navel, round all the way forward. As shoulders come over the wrist, bend the knees, lift the tailbone, and press the heart back. And you're slinking back through that back bend again. Inhale, round forward, hug the thighs, hug the glutes. Exhale, bend the knees, lift the tailbone, and then melt the heart back. Let's do one more with breath. Inhale to round forward. And exhale to melt it back. This time, to, this time stay high on your tiptoes and find that bounce through your knees. And we're going to use the bounce through the left foot. The left toes to spring the right foot forward. So we raise the right foot, we keep the left knee bouncing. Next time the left knee bends, push from that bent knee, step the right foot forward in between the hands. Sink the back knee down once you're there. Inhale, arms up, high lunge. Exhale, lean your belly forward as you move your hips back and reach your fingertips back, come into half splits. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale, keep the belly close to the thighs, you lift. And then exhale, keep the belly close to the thigh again as you move the hips back. Good, inhale, rise. And exhale, hips back. Heart forward. Good, inhale, lift all the way up. So land the right foot down, back toes are tucked, back knee lifts from the ground. And then just take a moment to feel into that stability of the ground beneath you. And remember here, you can have the challenge of hands lifted or fingertips down as you spring all the way forward into that L shape and your warrior three. So if you need fingertips on the ground, that shape, uh, L shape through the legs, your hands are lifted, just lifting the heart space as high as the pelvis. Keep the left toes reaching back. Okay, challenge is to do it without the hands, otherwise land your hands down. You're going to hike up through the left hip and slowly bring the left foot to land opposite the right. Once it lands, pull the heart down, let the head relax. Take a breath in through your nose and exhale through the mouth. And again if you need it. Okay, and then lift and spread your toes and just start shifting the weight forwards and backwards. Good, we're going to take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale through the mouth, heart down. Lovely, and again, inhale, halfway lift. 
Shoulders away from your ears, crown of the head reaching forward. Exhale, heart to the knees. Good, heel toe your feet nice and wide. And then bend your knees generously. And then this time we're gonna to turn to the right. So we walk the hands, we're turning all 10 toes, all of them, all the way around till you face the top of your mat with your shin bones crossed. And then you can land your hips down. Okay, and then from there, step the feet forward into the tabletop position. Remember, you want this to feel it in the hamstring. So if you feel it in your quads, have your feet further forward. Hands next to the hips. Drive the pelvis to the sky. Tuck your tailbone underneath you. Drive your pubic bone higher. Good. And then just pushing into the heels of your hands, almost trying to bring the shoulder blades together to lift up the chest. You're feeling this in the quad, step the feet forward. Keep squeezing the glutes together. And then when you're ready, we're gonna land hips to the heels, lift up through the chest. And then step the feet forward. So here, if you want less of a challenge or you can have the feet down and we round the spine down. If you want more of a challenge, then it's a right leg lifted this time. Reach the fingertips forward, squeeze the right thigh, round through the spine, lower to the ground as slowly as you can, landing as softly as you can for three. Right leg strong, two, and one. Soles of the feet turn together, knees out wide, arms out wide, and just take a moment to drop in. Take a breath that allows your body to soften deeper. Okay, we're going to do that flow again and we're going to add on another segment of the sequence and then we'll finish. So when you're ready, bring your knees in. And this time you can just take it into any movement that feels good, anything that you feel you need whilst you're in this position or you could come back to what we've been doing before through the hip circles, the knee circles. And then when you're ready, you're gonna land your knees over to the left, so arms over the head. If you need to land your feet, you can. If you want, you can let your knees fall over to the left. And then you slide your top knee away from you, roll over with your right arm, push into the earth, find your diagonal pigeon. Tuck the toes if you need to. Inhale, lift the arms from your waistline. Exhale, turn towards the left thigh. Circle all the way forward and round. We'll just do one of these circles. But you find the center, lift up. Exhale, squeeze the elbows all the way down to the base of the spine and then lift and turn. So we're spinning the right knee out, the left leg goes long. Let's take it through one spinal wave. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, wave the heart forward. Inhale, look towards the navel. Exhale the heart forward. And this time we're going to just invite a moment of stillness in a forward fold. So protecting the left hamstring, pressing the heel down, keep the toes active. And then rather than obsessing about the head going down, see how far you can reach your heart forward. So that you start to feel um, more length and engagement through the spine in your forward fold rather than a rounding in your upper back. Good, deepen the breath into what you're feeling.
and then when you're ready, look to the navel and rise all the way back up. Bring your right foot into the center, right knee into the center, bring it into your twist. Lovely. One more breath in to grow. One more breath out to twist. Keep looking at the back of the mat, slide the right hand to the back of the mat, press into the right foot. Option here is to spin into a three-legged down dog with your left foot lifted. Good, okay. And then you can take it, if you're with me, you can take it through a waving vinyasa. You can always land the left foot down, but we're gonna inhale, lift up through the right heel, pull the belly in, round all the way forward, shoulders over wrists. And then exhale, keep looking towards the navel as you land the pelvis towards the wrist in an upward facing dog. Untucking the toes if you need to. Having some movement here, maybe moving the pelvis from side to side, or bending the elbows. Then when you're ready, taking it all the way back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels, fan a bounce through your knees. Float your left toes, keep your right knee bouncing, we're springing the left foot forward. This time keep the back knee lifted and inhale, arms up to a high lunge. Good, now as you exhale, fingertips come down, straighten through the left leg, pull the heart down. You can be as low here as you need to. You can lift the left toes if you're super flexy through your hamstring. And then we're gonna inhale, lift up, high lunge. Lovely, exhale, come on the way down. We'll take that forward fold again, straight through the left leg, bring your hips to the air. Lovely, one more inhale, lift. Try to let the breath guide you. Exhale, heart down, straighten the left leg. Good, inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, shift the weight forward into your left foot, float your back toes, warrior three. Lovely, and then we're transitioning this into a half moon. So bringing the left fingertips down forward and to the left of your foot, and then peeling open through the shoulder. So you stack the right hip on top, you stack the right shoulder on top, and then once you feel them stacked, extend through the back of the back leg so the right heel is reaching away from you. And then maybe, maybe if you're feeling good, taking your gaze up. Good. We're going to sweetly come out of this. Try to slow it down, draw your navel in, square your right hip towards your mat again. If you want to use no hands, you can. Hands to the heart space. And then sweetly landing your right foot next to your left. Land it down, take an inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, fold again. We'll do that one more time, inhale. This time cleansing breath, exhale through the mouth. Shake it out, let your head be heavy. Comfortable distance between your feet. Bend your knees. And then spin all the way around to the left. So walk your hands, turn all of your toes, cross your shin bones, and then sink the hips down. Step the feet forward, place your hands next to your hips, drive the pelvis up into your tabletop, tuck your tailbone underneath you. So you're really feeling like you're driving your pubic bone to the sky. Push down into the hands, lift the chest. Take a breath. Good, we're gonna add on. We're gonna lower the hips, Swing them back in between the hands, lift up through the pelvis. Maybe see if you can lift your toes, your heels. Line them back down, drive into your tabletop. We'll do that one more time. Exhale, pull the belly in, round the shoulders forward, lift the hips, maybe lift the feet. And then step, tabletop. Sing the hips to the heels. Step the feet forward, lift the chest. Breathe into your collarbones. Good. Right knee stays bent, left leg long if you're going there. Inhale, reach the fingertips forward. Exhale, round it down for three, for two. Bring the knees in towards the chest. We'll take it straight to the other side. Circle the knees, move the hips. Good. 
Lovely. When you're ready, we're taking it over to the right. Rolling with the left shoulder, left knee slides back, left toes behind. Inhale, lift the arms. Gather the core, exhale, one circle to the right. Lovely. Exhale, when you meet the center, squeeze the shoulder blades together, cactus in the arms, elbows drawing towards one another behind the back. And then leaning into the hands, spinning to the top of the mat, the left knee bends out wide, the right leg is long. Let's take it into one spinal wave, inhale, lift the chest, lift the chin, draw the shoulders back, let the heart lead you forward. Gaze towards your navel, round it back up. And then this time you can come forward into the stillness. And again, think about lengthening. So rather than trying to, you know, just drop low, think about space from the base of the spine all the way through the crown of the head. So each vertebrae is just inching away from one another. You can lift the sit bones, you don't need to be grounded there, you can let them lift so there's no pull on your lower back. And you have that kind of slight engagement of lifting the chest and reaching the heart forward so the spinal muscles feel engaged. Almost like you're in a mini back bend. Lovely, when you're ready, rise it back up on your inhale, bring your left knee into your center, find your twist, tuck with your right elbow. Left hand to scaffold the spine. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale to twist. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, draw your navel in. Lovely. Slide the left hand to the back of the mat. Option is to come into the three-legged down dog. So we pick up the hips, spin all the way up and over through those left toes. Your right foot stays lifted. If you want to land it, you can land it. We're going to come through a waving vinyasa. Inhale, lift the left heel, round forward through the spine. Exhale, slowly, pelvis towards the wrists, upward facing dog. And tuck your toes if you need to. Have a wiggle in your upward facing dog if that feels good. You might bend the elbows, get some upper body action happening here. And then when you're ready, pull the belly in. Press it all the way back down facing dog. Stay high up on your tiptoes, bounce through your knees. Keep pressing your hands forward. We're going to float the right toes. So bend that left knee, push from the foot, step the right foot forward. We're coming up into a high lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, lean your heart forward, send your hips back, straighten through your right leg. Fingertips can come down. You might lift, to lift the right toes if you've got that opening. Inhale, plant the foot. Right, so fingertips, high lunge. Two more times, exhale, hips up and back, heart forward and down. Last one, inhale, lift, high lunge, exhale. Good, inhale, lift up, high lunge. Challenge to keep the hands lifted. Warrior three, shifting the weight forward into the right foot. And then we're finding half moon pose. So taking your right fingertips down. You can micro bend that right knee if you need to, but then stack the left hip on top. Keep looking down for now. And then stack the left shoulder on top of the right. Keep extending through your back heel. Fingertips are reaching as well. And then if you're comfortable, move slowly with your head, tucking your chin in towards your chest. Keep breathing and keep allowing your wobbles to just be there. Good, now if you want the challenge, square the hips back down towards the mat, bring the hands to the heart space. And then sweetly land your left foot next to your right. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lift. Exhale to refold. And just allowing all of that to drop into the earth. 
Good. Comfortable distance between your feet. Mine are nice and wide. Bend the knees. Sink the hips. Turn the toes. Walk the hands round to the right. Shin bones cross. Hips sink. Step the feet forward for the tabletop. Drive the pelvis to the sky. Tuck the tailbone underneath you. I'm really squeezing the glutes. And then really making sure I'm pressing into my heels. Good. Take the hips back. Lean forward through the upper body and then squeeze the legs, lift the, lift the, the heels, maybe. <laughs> lift the pelvis. Send it back one more time. So here, you could lift the left leg. Keep rounded forward. Maybe land the left leg, lift the right. And then land tabletop. Hips to the heels. Chest opens, collarbone opens as you lift the chest. Breathe there. Step the feet forward. Reach the fingertips forward. You can do this option or you can straighten the right leg. Glue the knees together, round to the, down to the ground for three, for two, and one. Lovely, and then soles of the feet together, knees wide. Arms nice and spread out. We take a cleansing breath together. In through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Let's add sound to that one. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Don't be shy, let's do it again. Inhale. Exhale, release. Ah. And once again, just allowing your body to become heavier on the ground. Allowing the knees to be heavier. And just see if you can subtly tune in to the sweet, gentle, subtle pull of gravity. The sensation of sinking, gentle sinking. Each fiber and cell in the body, just being grounded. You can stay in Supta Baddha Konasana as long as it feels good. You might like to um, come into full Shavasana or maybe take another posture or finish your practice off in your own way. You're more than welcome to do that. I'm just going to allow this video to roll out so that you can finish in your own way, in your own time. Please, if you have time, give plenty of it to rest.